From Innovation Park, it's After Hours. With Steve Brenner and Rachel Krasnov. Tonight on After Hours, Fireside Chat 4, Ericsson Unfiltered. And the After Hours House Band. Now, here's your host, Steve Frankensteinbrenner! What's up? Yeah. How's everyone doing? Woo, a little fast for you. A little fast for you, sir. How's everyone doing out there today? Yeah. 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 Yes. Look what I found. A little boutonniere backstage. Uh -oh. It's actually a fake plastic tree, but, uh, Woo. you know, the bends. Uh, but anyway, yeah. fun time, fun time. Um, Got some sad news to kick off the show. Sorry, gang. But as uh, that one artist once said, I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo. And I get on it. Regardless, as much as we sing pop songs, Rachel's not coming back. So uh, Ra Rachel's not here today. I know, no Rachel. Ooh, boo, boo. Boo to you, sir. What a jerk. No, we miss you, Rachel. We, we, can't, we can't wait to have you back, Rachie Pants. But uh, we got to plow ahead. We got to move on. That's uh, Pants. All right. <laughs> and just like I said, we got to move on. We got to plow ahead. Whatever that guy said. But here we go. Monologue. Boom. University of Kentucky Police out in the Lexington City there. They got a little uh, dose of the life at Penn State when Kentucky basketball fans took to the streets and rioted after their team's victory over Louisville in last weekend's Final Four game. Now, Fans were out in the streets burning couches and they overturned parked cars in jubilation. Kind of sounds familiar. Yeah. Not to be outrided by another university, Penn State students took to Beaver Avenue this weekend to ride over the ridiculous cover and bottle prices at the new bar levels. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No one's going to outride us. So. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Right. That's right. <laughs> F the police. <laughs> Friends. Friends with the police. All right. <laughs> That's what I meant. Now, our favorite neighbors to the north have decided to stop production of the Canadian penny, claiming that the little pieces of change just cost too much to produce and will end up saving the government, apparently, over $11 million in Canadian money. So, yeah. The chief Canadian financial minister, Jim Flaherty, said, and this is a real quote, I'm actually not making this up, uh, pennies take up too much space on our dressers at home, eh? That, yeah. That was really their justification. There's too much space in the dressers and the drawers. Now, in response to Canada's biggest news of the last decade, the world collectively yawned. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, we need to change about the boot to the rules, so, you know. It's not bad, come on. The LA Dodgers of Los Angeles, of course, <laughs> just in case you didn't know, uh, yeah, I checked. They were recently purchased by a group of high rollers in L.A., including Mr. X basketball star, Magic Johnson. Oh. All right. For a record, get this, $2 billion, highest ever that anyone's ever paid for a sports franchise. Now, in response to this X owner and bankruptcy bum, Frank McCourt said, quote, and I thought I got screwed in the divorce. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh. hey. But, but uh, let's just hope, let's just hope for everyone's sake. Magic's Dodgers play a little better than Michael Jordan's White Sox. Am I right? Oh! Yay! That, that is a mid-90s sports reference. Yeah. That is... Yeah. Absolutely. Woo. You didn't like it, I feel like. You're, you're, you're looking at me, there's someone out in the audience just looking at me like, who is this guy? Keep my sports references in this decade, sir. All right, well, here we go. This weekend, it's everyone's favorite religious time of the year, Easter and Passover. Here, we're here. We finally made it. Christians, Jews, and Mel Gibson fans everywhere will go home. They go home for that one weekend and they pretend to remember all the words to all the church hymns. And then uh, they'll also be sitting down for a candlelight meal and think to themselves, now why the hell didn't we just put yeast in our bread? I mean, what is this? Unleavened. And muddling the significance of the holiday once again, Easter Bunny will also be back in American households, forcing children everywhere to hunt for disgusting hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. No one likes those. And now, apparently, toxic sugar products. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Oh, yes. Easter Bunny. Ridiculous. Now, 
Although After Hours remains unaffiliated in matters of uh, divine allegiance, we would just like to say we'd like to wish everyone a happy and safe weekend home. Good luck avoiding crazy Uncle Charlie. You know, and don't eat too many butter lambs. Yeah. That's a real yeah. thing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. That's right. That is right. Butter lambs are a real thing. I know. It's kind of weird because they dress them up too. They give them a little ribbon. It's almost like you're eating, a, you know, a, just a innocent, young, <laughs> fluffy, buttery piece of goodness. You're just <laughs> spreading it on that croissant. And you're like butter lamb. No, it's, it's so good. Butter lamb. <laughs> but good luck with butter lamb. Should be great. But well, we got a wonderful show. <laughs> wonderful show coming up. We got some music. We got a little uh, president of the university coming at you. So uh, stick around. It's going to be a great after. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful job, everyone. Great. Job, everybody. Oh man, what a week! I tell you, those brackets. Mine were busted. Wouldn't be the first time, you know what I mean? Hey! Hey! Oh, oh. There, there really actually wasn't any innuendo in that joke. Oh. I was talking about brackets. I got busted. Uh, I'm not very good at March Madness. That was it. <laughs> that was the joke. But you know, your minds are just in the gutter. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. But that's okay. Penn State was noticeably absent from the brackets again this year. But, uh, oh, yeah. What do I know? Oh, what do I know? I do know someone who knows a little something about Penn State, though. Oh, oh you're not? Yeah, I got him. Hey. I had bait, the old bait and hook right there. <laughs> Threw it out. You know, like, do I want this? Do you want this? And then it is. It comes skimming across. Is that a worm? It looks like a worm. It might be a worm. Better go for it. Oh. Fish? Hello. <laughs> You guys ever know what fish are? What the heck? If it's not, if it's not Twitter and T-Pain, uh, none of you kids know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, he made a fish joke. How old and lame of him. I bet, I bet he works at a bank. All right. Well, audience aside, they're a bunch of losers. But the point is, we need someone to tell us, just, just kind of ease, ease our troubles. And you know, nothing eases troubles quite like a fireside chat. And I think... The dear president of our university, even though no one really voted for him, he just kind of happened in the job, but whatever. The dear president of our university has a little message for us, and it's premiering right here on After Hours. Let's go right to it. Hi, I'm Rodney Erickson, and this message is as vital as ever. I made many promises to you. You read my email. One of my promises was to always keep my door open. Another was to keep the faculty of this university as transparent as possible, and recently sat down for three fireside chats to talk about the issues on the minds of the students, faculty, and alumni. As the Daily Collegian stated, the chats were attended by a crowd of 18. So I just have one question. Am I not being f transparent enough? The eyes of the nation are upon us, and 18 people show up to grill me about tuition. Did FDR invite journalism students to his fireside chats? No. So what do you want? Instead of asking myself these stupid questions, I opened up my mailbox, and now I'm going to let you ask them for me. Turning off my filter, this is the fourth fireside chat. The first one says, Dear Rodney Erickson, Will tuition remain borderline affordable throughout construction of new buildings? Do you care about the students? The answer is yes. I care about the students. If the construction of new buildings has any effect on the cost of tuition, it will be a very small one. Dear Rodney Erickson, how would construction of all the new buildings not affect tuition costs at all? Well, okay. It will actually affect the tuition costs a significant amount. So, you happy? F you. Tuition. Tuition. They're all about tuition. I'm not answering any more questions about tuition. I dream of being in a position like yours one day. Have you always dreamed about being the president of Penn State? No. No. After 30 years here, 
I felt I owed Penn State my leadership during a time of turmoil, so that is when I decided to step up to this position. And as a child, I had reoccurring dreams about being kidnapped by Charlie Chaplin. Now he's going to come back tonight. I'm not going to get any sleep. The whistle. Dear Rod. 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 The name is Rodney Erickson. Say hello to the garbage. Tuition. Uh, tuition. Dear Rodney Erickson. Hi. Well, hello. Tuition. This one says, Hey Rodney, it says gullible on the ceiling. I am not going to look up. Tuition. Tuition. Tuition sucks, I get it. I'm transparent. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do about it? Dear Rodney, why don't you try smiling? Why don't you try smiling? Thank you for your student letters, stupids. Oops. I think I mixed up the words student and stupid. Was it an accident? What else do you do at a fireside chat? We are Nittany Lions. And we're mounting everyone. Want to watch me take a bath? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Sorry, I was just reading something hilarious in this. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. Oh. oh. F you, you didn't like my uh, fish joke. <laughs> That's what you get. That is true. Yeah. Friends. <laughs> That's what F means. Friends. Hey, real quick, speaking of cards and uh, birthdays, our uh, soon-to-be maybe producer, Will. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Now we're over here. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. So uh, fantastic. Um, but yeah, you know, we wish him long life and success for the future rests in his hands. And if it doesn't turn out well, I'm coming back. Yeah! With a vengeance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but uh, ways, speaking of the show and the future of the show, and just ways I'm just Iggy Azalea heading on a swivel right here. Oh, hey. uh, Ten bucks if you get that one. Um, thinking of ways to improve the show. And obviously hurt, it obviously hurts when Rachel's not around, so, you know, I, I'm thinking to myself, what, what is the, the major hole in the program? I mean, there's not many, let's be honest, it's pretty flawless, but there is one. If you just, just take a moment with me, just two seconds, you hear that? It's nothing. You know what, you know what could fill that space? Music. Yeah. Yeah. A house band, perhaps. Woo and fish lures, but a house band. <laughs> a house band is what we need. So we put it out on the web, looking for a house band, and we actually got some pretty decent audition tapes, and we're gonna share one with you right now. So check it out, the After Hours house band audition tape from The Womb Punchers. Yeah. 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 What is it, boy? <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is uh, Sharon Kwok, originally from Vancouver, British Canada. So, what's your name? Uh, Carl. And where are you from? From uh, Montauk, 
Uh, what's your name? Uh, are, we, are we filming? Go. Okay. Uh, my name is Roland. And where are you from? Uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, home of the uh, Little League World Series. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Jed. Okay, and, and how did the band get together? I'm from Dusseldorf, Germany. I've uh, been uh, playing music my whole life. The band got together after I played this little, this little number. Golden. And how did the band start? The band, this this group of um, this group of gentlemen got together. I think it had to be like maybe fourteen years ago. We met. At, um... uh, I went to a I graduated from a technical institute uh, in computer programming. And I uh, answered an ad in a newspaper for a uh, electronica band, and uh, thought that would be uh, interesting. And I met these guys. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> led you to audition for After Hours? It's a good question. I think, I think After Hours is the type of production that really is so high quality and it's, it's so, um, how do they, what do they say, moosh boosh, I think is the term. I, you know, it, it's a lot like our favorite musicians that are working now, people like Michael McDonald, Kenny G, uh, Michael Bolton. What, what, what interests you about After Hours? Uh, there's a little saying on the pro circuit that uh, when the Indians come over the sea, all sails are red. So you want to tell us about all your gear here? Pretty, pretty standard for uh, um, an electronica band. Um, can I just, I just need a sip of tea when I get a little stressed out, I just... Um, uh, just pedal boards, effect pedals, uh, like I said, I thought it was an electronica band, so, you know, uh, reverb and uh, sample loops and uh, syncs and, 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 and uh, that sort of, is that the question? Did I answer the question? Can you tell us about this vinyl you've been carrying around? Yeah, this is, um, Kenny G, Duo Tones. It's pretty much, uh, got me through college. I think, uh, I think it speaks volumes about the, um, you know, situation in Bogota, so. What do you think your chances are of making the cut for After Hours' as house band? I think... You know, with this year's Grammys, I don't think there's really, I don't, I'm not quite sure. I think we have a great chance. So what do you think your chances are? Uh, honestly, not very good. These guys uh, are all, all over the place, and quite frankly, they suck. I mean, I, I can design computer programs and play the guitar, and I don't even think they know what F-sharp major is. So... I would be very surprised. So what do you think the chances are of making it? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, after Hours is cool. I mean, they, they're like us, you know, in a lot of ways. They're, uh... Do you guys know where Jet, is Jet in here? Hey, what? Get the... Thank you. Thank you. You're all...
So great. Oh. Winner, chicken dinner. Nope, you suck. <laughs> All right. Well, that was good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't believe this guy's great. <laughs> I love Katie. Katie, she's great. I love Katie Holmes. I love Katie. No. <laughs> like some of the sounds and the crazy noises. That reference is pretty old now. I was thinking about this. When did that happen? Like, oh, four, maybe? Oprah. <laughs> yes, it did happen on Oprah. But I'm actually looking for a time. Sort of like a... All right, you guys are all... Oprah. Rough audience today. Very aggressive. Very... Oprah. 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 You can check under your desks and you're all fired. That's what you get. That's what you get under your chairs for this show. Big fat pink slip. All right. Well, if you don't want to watch that again, I won't blame you. <laughs> but if you do want to watch the majority of the episode, which was pretty good, until uh, these clowns got involved, check us out online. Check us out. And the cats got involved. Just, just check us out online. Facebook.com slash After Hours PSN TV. A great time. Uh, Twitter, same thing. After Hours PSN TV. So fun. So good. Someone's up to something bad. I can just smell it. Someone out there is just going to gonna be in trouble. But yeah, check it out. Also, youtube.com slash Penn State TV. You can find us all there. Surprise. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, whoa. That, that just happened. That just happened. You're all not as dark as I thought you were. I could, I could get in trouble for that. I could see where that leads down a slippery slope. But uh, we're going to let it slide. It's OK. It's okay. I'm part Cherokee, so yes. we're all good. Hey, it was a great episode. Uh, we're actually taking a break for a week. You know, a little religious observance, as they say. Uh, it's Will's birthday, so yeah. 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 It's kind of a big deal, so we're taking the break. But uh, I know. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay. It's just another week. You can go to all those websites I told you about and just rewatch your favorites. Live it, breathe it, eat it, love it. Woo, yeah. Thank you so much. It's been a great show. We will catch you all on the flippy flip yeah. with the flippy flip. Paradise. Goodbye. After that. Oh, it did not work. But I really, really have a good mind, everybody. <laughs>